I broke my right arm. Um, left leg was crushed. I was trapped for a couple hours. I was in the Army. I was on my way to OCS, which is uh, Officer Candidate School, to become a pilot. And we got deployed to Iraq, my unit did. Um, while in Iraq, I uh, was part of, part of uh, JSOC, um, which is Joint Special Operations Command. We had, had a lot of good experience with a lot of good soldiers. Um, but unfortunately, it ended with me being in a helicopter crash. In this crash, uh, I broke my right arm. Um, left leg was crushed. I was trapped for a couple hours and got shipped back stateside to uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, to Blanchfield, that hospital. While in the hospital, I was a wreck. It was, it was in a bad place. Looks like I lost a friend during that, during that crash. Um, I realized that I can no longer become a pilot um, from because of my injuries. I was the worst patient you could imagine. I wouldn't have let the nurses take care of me. I was, I was resistant. I was mean. And then one of the nurses decided to put in a consult to a, uh, the chaplain, and this to a particular chaplain that she knew, um, who was a former Special Forces um, Green Beret. So this um, chaplain came to talk to me, and he, like his experiences resonated with me. And as soon as he talked to me, I broke down, tears, tears and everything. And he told me how, how that nurse actually like, went and found him specifically to talk to me. I lay there in my hospital bed, um, thinking about how mean I was to her and how she still went above and beyond to, to get me what I needed which was to talk to somebody who had actually went outside the wire. Um, it, was, it was humbling. It made me feel like a jerk, but it also opened me up. I was never mean to her at all, anybody for that matter. And then once I, it took me about, about 18 months to, to walk without assistance again. Um, but during that whole time, I kept thinking, you know, like how fortunate I was to have my life, how fortunate I was to have people in my life to help guide me through the muck and the emotional pain that I was experiencing. And I wanted to pay that back. And I, I thought like, at that moment, I was going to become a nurse. At that moment, I wanted to be what that nurse was for me, for somebody else. I'm James and I'm a critical care nurse in Mount Carmel.